Hi everyone, in this video we'll see how to do incremental backups on Linux with the BTRFS file system and BTRBK command line tool. I did a previous video about BTRFS versus rsync and if you are interested in the topic, let's check this video. So let's start with the installation. The software is available on GitHub and it's BTRBK and uh, the installation is uh, very simple you just have uh, to move uh, this file in a path where you have the executable files and uh, i put it in uh, user local bin so let's check it and uh, it's this one and you also have to make it executable with the chmod plus x btrbk. Then you need the two btrfs file system. I have btrfs A and btrfs B. Both file system must have to be btrfs. So if you do right click properties, you can check it file system type btrfs. And then you need the configuration file, which is this one. You can do it in very different ways. And mine is very similar to this one. And I have it to etc btrbk, btrbk conf. And mine is very simple. I just changed the timestamp format to long to have long dates in the format. And this configuration, snapshot preserve min, is the configuration about the snapshot that you have in your local disk. And the target preserve is the data rotation policy for the remote BTRFS volume. So you can see uh, 18, 19 are available also in the remote BTRFS volume, but some previous snapshots are already pruned from the local disk. This is the local volume which is BTRFS. In my situation, it's uh, this full path. A snapshot dir is the directory where the uh, snapshot uh, are done locally. Target is the BTRFS volume which is uh, remote. So in my situation is uh, this path, this one. And the sub volume is uh, code vol which is this directory. You can have different data retention policies for different BTRFS subvolume. And then you can run this tool manually with BTRFS BK run. And it will show you this report, the default path for the config file and what happened. So you can see what kind of change has been executed. So in this situation we have a new snapshot with the current time and we received an incremental change on the remote BTRFS volume. If you run the command without arguments you can see the help so you can use it with the dry run to uh, simulate the configuration. You can see the stats. Let's try stats. Stats. And you can also uh, list the uh, snapshots and the backups. So the snapshots are these ones. So the, the local ones. Otherwise, you can try backups which just means this snapshot in the uh, remote location, so these ones. So uh, you can check the, the content, so this is the first local snapshot and this is the last snapshot. And you can also do the diff to see the differences between uh, two snapshots. So the syntax is uh, sudo btr bk 
diff let's put uh, the first snapshot and uh, let's put the last local snapshot and uh, there is uh, a missing uh, slash and uh, these are all the uh, differences the remote folder can also be btrfs volume available via ssh as you can see in the official documentation so the, the syntax is uh, very similar you just need to uh, specify an, an ssh key and also the path is very similar so ssh the ssh server and the path with btrfs to see how much space is really used don't trust the file manager because the numbers are very different so we aren't using 377 megs but we are using 147 megs if you want to see it via command line you can use the btrfs file system show and this is the number that we are using in our btrfs file systems that's all give me a like if you found this video useful and see you in another video bye Thank you.